it is that time of the week again where I take the time to answer your questions that have been left in the comment section below. Guys, my name is Echo. This is the weekly Minecraft Q&A series about absolutely everything Minecraft. Now the main reason why I do this series is because I know you in the community have so many questions to ask the developers. I see a lot of you tweeting towards them. Sometimes they do respond, most of the time they do not. That's where I come into play and try and answer those questions to the best of my ability. Now last week we had a massive discussion and we're gonna get into that in just a second. So, recently I received a lot of questions saying, Hey Echo, where can I purchase your merchandise? Now, I believe it's the second link in description. It has all my merch. This is the most recent one, which is the Echo Soldier in Japanese symbols. It's quite popular. You can buy it in different colors, like green. There's, uh, there's some other colors there as well. You can buy them in hoodies and much more. I had to be a seller there and tell you guys because I keep getting asked that question. So, back on subject... Back to Minecraft, one question was asked last week, and that question was, Hey Echo, do you think uncrafting should be a thing in Minecraft? Now instead of me answering that question, I'll let you guys answer that question. Now in the comments section it was kind of 50-50, a lot of people were like, yeah, it should be a feature. A lot of people would be like, no. Now for the people who said no, that would be overpowered and you could just harvest diamonds and items, a lot of people responded with some pretty good responses. So someone said it shouldn't be a feature because your durability of your sword, your pickaxe, etc., could be about to break. You could put it in the uncrafting crafting menu and then get your diamonds back. But they were like, no, the way this should work for uncrafting is if you have a brand new pick that's diamond or a brand new sword that's diamond that you made by mistake, because sometimes we get distracted in Minecraft and make the wrong things. I do it a lot of the time. If you have a full durability item, you can then put that back into the crafting table and then uncraft it. But I also talked about this. Maybe you made a pickaxe, of course it's three diamonds, but instead of it giving three diamonds back to you, it gives you two diamonds and the two sticks. This means that you still get some of your things back, but you don't get all of them. So again guys, here's the official kind of poll that I did, always answer the poll above me. It says, should uncrafting be a thing? 86% said yes, and 13% said no. I think uncrafting could be a pretty useful feature. Will it be added? I don't know, that's definitely a question for developers and not me. I always love reading the comments section. I literally spent around about an hour reading your comments today. So the first question we have today is coming from Diamond. Mojang promised us two updates every year. Do you think the next update will be a cave update, a sky update, or something else? This had 27 thumbs up. Again, if you agree with somebody else's question, always thumbs them up. Most likely I'll answer those first. So yeah, we have been promised two updates here. They have promised us and said yes, two biggish updates will be released every single year, which I guess is good. I asked you guys in the order video, would you rather see two major updates a year or four smaller updates? Most people did say two big updates. Now the next update, will it be cave update, a sky update or something else? See. A lot of you are asking me questions about sky updates and the reason why I've not really answered anything about a sky update is because other than birds, what else could they introduce to the sky that would fit into Minecraft? The reason why I think it's going to be a cave update is because during Minecon, the PC developers talked about wanting to bring a cave update to the game and they said cave updates, well caves are slightly outdated so they said they want to update them. Plus caves are already in Minecraft. They can literally remodel how caves work. So I would rather see a cave update, but what about you guys? Would you rather see a cave update or a sky update? I, I do think out of those two, it will be a cave update. Could it be something else? I really don't know what else they could introduce unless they went like way over the top and introduced a brand new dimension. I think the best thing would probably be a cave update. I feel like it'd be more beneficial for the users. But again, you guys are welcome to leave your questions and answers down below. The next question says, hashtag ask Echo, will guardians attack turtles, uh, dolphins, or fish? That had 20 thumbs up. It's also a very, very interesting question because every single time we had the introduction of new things in the update, I traveled to guardian temples. Of course, I put down squid, the squid get killed. Put down a puffer fish, put down salmon, put down any fish. Nothing happened. The guardians aren't interested. I also put down turtles there. They also were not interested. So I don't think they're going to make guardians kind of 
revamped to attack other things. It kind of would make sense though, because I feel like the Guardian is a mob that should attack everything. It attacks players, it attacks Dolph, sorry, it, it attacks um, players, it attacks squids. I think it should attack dolphins. Because I feel like dolph dolphins, as they explained, are going to be like bears. When you, If you hit them, they will group up on you. I think that's what they said. So, I think if a guardian was to try and attack a dolphin, then a group of them could start attacking the dolphins. It's kind of like guardians versus dolphins. So, I'm hoping so. Because guardians at the moment, they're pretty boring. Nobody goes to a guardian temple unless you really want to go there. I don't go there. And I feel like they don't quite fit into the oceans now with the updated aquatic, but... I love that question. It's a really, really tricky one. I think out of any of them, they would attack dolphins because dolphins can attack back. But love that question. Next one says, are they going to be adding mods? What do you think? Now, I do not know what specific version he's talking about. He's obviously not talking about Minecraft PC because we already have mods. He's obviously not talking about Minecraft Console Edition because Console Edition is never getting mods. Now, Minecraft Pocket Edition does have add-ons, which is add-ons, which are a form of modification. Now, I know... I know this for a fact that the Minecraft Pocket developers are working on a brand new modding API. If you don't know what this is, basically modding on the Pocket Edition slash Bedrock version is going to be the equivalent, if not better, than the Java version modding. They're going to make a brand new system for modding for the Bedrock community. I know that's coming because I've spoken to the developer who is working on it. So yes, to answer your question, if it's about Pocket Edition slash Bedrock, more mods will be coming. You won't need the likes of Block Launcher, I believe. You might need something else unless they're going to work with Block Launcher. And yes, it will work on iOS. I did bring you guys a video the other day, though, about modding on iOS. So yeah, to answer your question, yes. The next one says, when is the next texture pack in Minecraft? All right, then. So we've had version 1 and version 2 of the brand new default textures in Minecraft. They've only been developed for the PC version. And I think going back to two weeks ago, Jappa, who's the main pixel artist at Mojang, who's working on this, he has said that version 3 is in the works. There will be a version 3. But I think he said it's going to be released after the update aquatic because there's a lot of items in the update aquatic that need to be developed. There could be like version 4, 5, 6. There could be a lot of versions before the official texture pack is released because... There has been a lot of discussion, a lot of controversy, a lot of negativity about some of the textures within these texture packs. So that's not going to be released for a long time. I literally don't expect that for a couple of months, which is a good thing because it means that they're taking the time to make it perfect before they fully release it. But yeah, we will be getting version 3. He did tell us. The next one says Q&A. Do you think Minecraft would add villages to the nether? Because in the nether... They have only the nether fortresses. Now, I was sitting there thinking about this question. I wasn't going to answer it. And then something popped in my head. Now, if you guys don't know, I feel because I feel like the Minecraft story mode played a big part in Minecraft getting the ocean update. Because when we were in the oceans, you could see the coral reefs. You could see how beautiful it looked. And everyone was like, Mojang, why isn't this in Minecraft? Why don't we have the corals? Why don't we have the beautiful plants and all that good stuff? So I feel like the Minecraft story mode played a big part. Now, I was thinking about this, right? Below the bedrock, we had those like rogue villages, like those rogue players underneath. And I kind of thought in my head, maybe there would be another village. And maybe it would be inhabited by kind of like rogue villages who do weird and slightly different things. That's kind of what popped into my head. So... Do you think Minecraft would add villages to the nether? Well, I definitely feel like nethers do need to be updated. The more you guys are answering this question or asking this question, I do agree with a lot of you that the nethers are quite outdated and they do need to be slightly updated. They did update the nether a lot not long ago with the new magma blocks, with the quartz blocks, with endermen spawning inside of there. But they're not really major changes, are they? So I hope so. I don't think nether villages would be the answer, but I definitely feel like some kind of nether update or like, yeah, I feel like some kind of nether update would be, should be introduced. Maybe like a new ore, like a dark ore, because the nether is a dark place. So you need to think something dark and evil. You can't really talk about villages because a villager to me is kind of like something you find in the overworld, not so much in the nether. Maybe something different, you know? We have skeletons in the... Overworld, I know we have skeletons in the nether, but you have wither skeletons, which are their variations and stuff. You've got pigs in the overworld and zombie pigmen in the nether and stuff like that. So, yeah, great question.
Who knows? The next one from yours truly, Q&A. Why is the recipe book different in the Bedrock compared to Java? The Java one is less compact and the way to open it is better than Bedrock. In Bedrock, you are extremely likely to press the home button, especially on small screens, and it really annoys me. This is a subject that I have talked about a lot. The recipe book on Minecraft PC is fantastic, the way it works, it's easy. It can be completely out the way and you don't misclick it at all. I do agree with you that the Bedrock recipe book is, I just don't like it. I just do not like the creative way or the interface for crafting on the Bedrock version. They did introduce the ability to disable it, all right? But every time it's disabled, I disable it when I'm playing normal inventory, but when I go into a crafting menu, to craft things, it pops back up into full screen. Now, they need to introduce an option where you can fully disable it and it's gone. Because I feel like they're forcing you to use it. I feel like it's a, a feature that has been forced along players. The way they've kind of pushed Minecraft console edition out the way and said, there's the Bedrock version, go and play that on Xbox One instead. They need to make it an alternate choice. Because not everybody wants to, to use the crafting menu. Not everybody wants to play the Bedrock version and stuff like that. Now, I do not know which way they're going to go. I do not know if they're going to turn the Java crafting recipe menu like the Bedrock, or they're going to turn the Bedrock like the, the Java version, vice versa, etc. I do not know which one they're aiming to do. But I do agree with you, the Java one's a little bit more easier to understand. And if you want it completely gone, it is completely gone on... Android, iOS, Windows 10, Xbox, it's there all the time. You just can't escape it. And although I use it myself, I only use it because it's always there. But I would like to have the option to just turn it off in settings and it's gone unless I enable it again. The best way to explain this is you have the option to use classic crafting or the pocket crafting. Maybe introduce an option like that in settings so people have their own choice. Sorry, I rambled on there. It's just something that really, really bothers me. The next one says Q&A. With the addition of concrete powder, and the new wood variations of trapdoors and buttons, do you think they will add different chests depending on what type of wood you use or allow you to dye them different colors like the shulker box? Also, do you think they will add colored lamps, glowstone and sea lanterns don't fit in with a lot of the builds and torches can be ugly? This is actually my favorite question in today's video because I've talked about this quite a lot. As time has gone by, especially the last two years within Minecraft, they have been introducing more variations. They've been introducing more variations of doors, more variations of slabs. Look in the, the, the latest uh, aquatic update, we had the introduction of more slabs. And recently we had the introduction of different colored pressure plates, different colored uh, buttons. Was it trap doors that we got different colors of? I think it was. So they are bringing more variations of different items. Now, the reason why they haven't introduced too many items is because when this question was asked of all developers, they said they don't want to make too many items for two reasons. One, it makes the creator menu extremely overpacked and ugly, which I do agree on. But two, they don't want to make it too difficult for new players to, to not understand. Believe it or not, although me, you, and probably everyone who's watching this video plays Minecraft quite a lot, daily, if not definitely weekly, we understand everything in Minecraft. For someone who's brand new who just downloaded the game today, there are so many features for them to understand and try and learn. Like, if I was to try and understand and learn Minecraft today, forgetting everything I know about it, I would be like, because there's so much to learn. That's not a bad thing because it means that you get to enjoy the game for a long time. But uh, I understand where they're coming from, but I fully agree with you. I would love to see different chests based on different woods. This is where we go back to the, the original bed. The original bed was red. Why red? They changed all the beds. So why is the original chest just orange slash reddish? Why? Who decides these things? See what I mean? Um, but I would definitely support different colored chests. Not so much different colored woods, but definitely different colored redstone lamps. Maybe you could have like a blue one, a yellow one, a green one, a pink one, a red one. Just uh, like, I don't know, it'd be good for different builds. You know, like a red room. You'd have a red lamp. But yeah, I agree with you. Glowstone and stuff like that, sometimes they don't fit into specific builds. But definitely one of my favorite questions, if not my favorite question today. The next one says, I have a question. When you swim in Bedrock Edition Aquatic Update, I can't enter in a small gap, even though I'm almost crawling. Is that normal? I'm pretty sure in Java you can enter in one block gap, or am I wrong? Now, this is something that I tried myself. I tried it on both Bedrock and I tried it on Java. In Java, 
You can go in one tour blocks with the Elytra. If you jump up and fly, you can go underneath and you can dig and do that fine. It looks like you're standing up. I believe that is a bug. I, I believe they just don't want players going in a one tall gap. It would be fun though, because think of the mini games you could have. I feel like, what's that game? It's like tunnels, is it, or something like that? So, <laughs> I just ramble on sometimes. So I think it is a bug. I tried it as well. I believe you can do it on PC with the swimming, but you have to kind of glitch it out. I tried it in live stream and stuff, but I would like to be able to go through it. But I think it's a bug and they just don't want that to happen. Basically, even though you're one block tall, when you're swimming, it's kind of classing you as two blocks, so you can't go underneath it. Maybe that'll be fixed in the final version, because of course, the water physics is slightly changing, but I'm guessing we'll find out. The next question says, hey Echo, don't you think leaderboards should come to Bedrock? And yes, I know people could cheat, but when they added leaderboards to Xbox 360, PS4, etc., people have cheated on those versions as well. I just think that leaderboards are a great inspiration like achievements for maybe like Survivor Worlds. Now, I do like this question, but I don't think leaderboards are ever going to be introduced. Let me explain to you why. Yes, leaderboards were incredible on the console version, mainly for the survival aspect. Mainly, I enjoyed the leaderboards for the competitive aspect of mini games. Trying to get number one, trying to get top ten, that was awesome. Now, people find ways to found ways to cheat on console edition that has no mods. People were cheating the leaderboards, and I think the leaderboards got reset two or three times because people were finding glitches, they were cheating and stuff like that. So whenever you introduce the leaderboards, everybody likes to cheat. The other reason is, is because when it was on like survival, creative, how far you've traveled, how many mobs you've killed, people were literally leaving their Xboxes on for months and months to get to the top, which really isn't good because for one, it's draining your internet, for two, it's not good on the Xbox, and for three, it's just incredibly insane. The leaderboards just, they didn't look good at all. So I don't think leaderboards would ever be introduced. If they did ever introduce, like, competitive mini games to the Bedrock version, then yeah, I would be all for it. But I don't think they'll ever do that, and I think that's just the way it is. It's too much hassle. It's something that Microsoft and 4J and developers really don't need to deal with. But anyway, next question. Alex the Gamer. Hey, Echo. Uh... You kill a tropical fish, it would drop clownfish. Will they change their drops? Because they said there is over 4,500 types of tropical fish. Uh, will that be a problem? Another good, good question. And just so you know, I believe there's 3,072 tropical fish. Yes, they actually said there's not many different tropical fish in Minecraft. It's kind of like Pokemon, you gotta collect them all. Imagine trying to collect all, th all 3,072 fish. There's a challenge for all of you when the update releases. Uh, but this is something that I've also asked developers as well. Not all tropical fish should be clownfish because not all the fish represent a clownfish. I think this could change. Maybe not in this update, but definitely something that they will lean towards. I think it's just so people can still access clownfish. Uh, but it'd be really difficult though because that means they'd have to introduce 3,072 different types of fish drops. Maybe, here's a better idea, when you kill a fish, you have the option of getting maybe three different things. You have the option of getting a clownfish, fish scales, or you have the option of getting like a fish eye. Maybe fish scales could be used for something different. I don't really know. I'm just spitballing. I'm just kind of giving some options there. But a good question nonetheless. And the last one today is from Minecraft Master Q&A Echo. When do you think the update aquatic will be fully released? In the last video, somebody did comment saying that they're hoping to release an update by May and June. Now I think the update might be introduced by, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the end of April. January, February, March, April. That's four months. I'm gonna say April, May. The reason why is because that's five months of development, meaning that we have a couple of months break, then we'll probably find out what the next update is gonna be, and then the next update will probably be released around about November, December. That's what normally usually happens. They try and release these updates at key times. One, when kids are off school, holidays and stuff like that because that means more people can enjoy the game, more people are going to download the game and buy the game and whatever else they release for it like plushies or skin packs or whatever else they introduce for it. So I think the end of April, beginning of May would be a perfect time but I'm guessing time will tell. There's still a lot more features that haven't been introduced. Apparently there's a secret feature, feature missing. We still don't have dolphins and there's a couple other things as well but the update is fantastic. The questions today we're absolutely fantastic. Any more questions you do have, guys, just leave them down below in the comment section, and I will answer them 
for the best of my ability. Take care, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!